I know, I know he didn't choose himself. He's not that big headed. He did. I did. Ah, oh, fair play. Yeah, it's every day you come in and you're excited to train, you're excited to work hard. Um, you know the session is going to be tough, and and every time you step on that pitch, you know he's at, at the sideline and he's pushing you on. He's fighting every decision that doesn't go your way. He's fighting against it. You can see he's very animated on the sideline, so he's he's so passionate. Um, and that kind of translates to us on the pitch. We want to portray that on the pitch. We want to be a team that wants to tackle, wants to defend, but also going forward is having that freedom to attack and, and being fearless and creating chances. So that's, that's the type of football he likes and I think we've all bought into it for sure. The side that he has, he's very passionate to want to win. Um, if he's talking to us in a meeting, talking to you one-on-one -on -one, or, or after the game when you've won, it's, he's, he's always passionate. But then I think away from football when we're, we're off the pitch, he's someone that can come and put your arm around you and, and speak to you, uh, see how you are um, and manage that side of, of, the, of the game as well. So definitely can do both parts and he's obviously had a big impact since he's been there. Definitely the attacking side. He's pushed me up a bit higher than, I, than I've played over the last couple of years. You're adapting your game, you're learning different parts of your game. I'm in a kind of winger slash 10 role um, now, and last season I played a bit more on the left, now I'm playing a bit more on the right. So it's different uh, movements, different um, opportunities that come up in the game. And for me this season, um, trying to get into the box more, score more goals, be in the final third, be more dominant, and and be more of a threat and I feel like obviously that at the moment I've, I've got a few goals and some assists but I want to keep going, I want to do more and more and I think he's a big part of, of pushing me forward and, and me helping me kind of get more goals. I always set um, new goals to, to want to achieve more. Um, being 19th in the Ballon d'Or was, wasn't one of my goals, that was something I never really looked at. I always want to set goals of what I can achieve in the season when I'm playing, like goals and assists, um, how I can affect games and my whole overall performances. That's something I always try to look at and then I think the other things come with it if you're performing at a top level and, and winning trophies. So my goals will always be the same to, to want to do more. Um, and achieve more than the season I did before. A World Cup year is, it definitely feels, a, it feels different. It's, you, you dream of playing in the World Cup. I remember growing up watching many tournaments, seeing unbelievable players, world-class players play in these tournaments and, and win it and go on the, like, I remember watching so many games, so for me to, to be able to hopefully play in a, in a tournament like that um, would be an absolute dream, it's a special achievement. Um, and then it's the focus on can we do something special along, along with that, um, which I think we can. We have the confidence, we're very humble as a group and we, and we know what we can achieve. So it's our goal now to, to put it into practice and to do it um, again after uh, a very good tournament. Lampard was always a big idol of mine. Iniesta and Xavi, when they were playing at Barca, um, the tick attack era, that, that they were someone I always used to watch. Both people were on, uh, on YouTube, the videos on YouTube, I love watching them. And actually, and Modric as well, when he was at Tottenham. I, I watched them four players very closely as, as a midfielder and as someone who likes to score goals. Yeah, I think everyone's seen the video when I was younger, um, basing my free kick uh, off him. I always watched him very closely when he was at United as a young kid. Uh, I loved the way he played, his free kicks. I, I'm a massive Pompey fan, so I went to the game when they played at Old Trafford and he scored that free kick against David James. Um, I was actually at the game in, in the corner, so I saw it firsthand, and I think after that, I kind of fell in love with the technique and what he'd done and um, him as a player. So I always try to look at him, what, what can I do to put it into my game? But now to, to play against him and be up against him is, is 
it's what you, it's the journey that you go on to from watching someone in the stands as a fan, and then to being on the same pitch and then play, pitch and playing against them. Um, it's a crazy journey, and um, yeah, it's, that's why I love football so much. Tough one. You want me to say what you said first? No, I'll take I'll take a prime Deckers. I know I know he didn't choose himself. He's not that big end. Surely not. <laughs> he did. I did. Oh, fair play. Yeah.